Our power is weird. It sucks when our power goes out and there's not a good storm to go with it. Hi, and welcome to Quilt Meets World, where we have adventures in piecing and joy. I'm Russ. Come on into my sewing room. In the past week, we've had two pretty good power outages here. The first was a week ago. Uh, literally, like right after I got my vlog uploaded, the wind came in and it came in very fierce. And then everything calmed down and it started raining. And about five minutes into the rain, we got a couple power flickers. It went off, it went on, it went off, it went on. Then it went off. And it went off for about two hours, 11 minutes. Not that I was counting. Uh, it, it was just to the point where the way that the temperatures are in the summer and everything, the air in my house was just getting uncomfortable. But it finally came on, uh, I think it was a little after nine, uh, completely ruined my ideas of going into the office on Monday. So that meant I spent Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in the office. That is a little intense. Uh, three days is a lot to handle in the office in a row. I'm used to doing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday to have that little break on Wednesdays to, you know, break up the week a little bit. So the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in a row was a little rough. And then yesterday, uh, while I was on the live with Stephanie Stitches, it started raining out here and it was a nice steady rain. Uh, Ended the live with her and went out to eat, got home, and was watching some stuff on TV. I came back in here to grab something. I don't remember what. The moment I sat down in my chair, the power went out. I was a little confused, disoriented, because it was clear outside. There was nothing happening, and the power went out. It was out for about 90 minutes. It came on for about four minutes and then it went out for about another hour. So it was a little bit of an adventure. I was thinking about going to bed last night when the power went out because it went out just after nine o'clock last night. Got everything all settled, went up into the bedroom and realized I can't sleep because there's no fan. And I have a sleep number bed and the settings were all wrong for my falling asleep method. I just sat there trying to figure out what to do. I came downstairs because it was a little bit cooler down here. I was just laying on the couch. Eventually the power came back on. It was about 1130 and I was able to get everything all settled for me to go to bed. My poor air conditioner though. It has not been happy with these power outages and the heat that we've had. Uh, we've had a few days higher than 90. And the heat index has been over 100. So the air conditioner is working overtime because it's trying to get the humidity down in here. And it's also trying to keep the heat down in here. <laughs> that yeah my poor air conditioner hopefully we get a little bit of reprieve uh, we're supposed to be getting storms again this afternoon in about an hour or so i hope uh, but i'm also hoping that the power doesn't go out in the sewing room what's been going on here uh well first of all as i started to get myself settled in at the end of the work day on friday I had noticed that I was getting a whole bunch of new subscribers and comments on my channel. I was a little surprised and uh, even more surprised to find out that Brenda of Conquering Mount Scrapmore did a random shout out to me in her latest video. That was super kind. Uh, I was a little flabbergasted to see that, you know, I'm, I'm getting noticed by some other channels. 
So thank you, Brenda, for your kind words and sending people over here. If for some reason you don't know, have Brenda in your subscriptions, I, I think you definitely should give her a look. I will have her channel linked down in the description below. Also, uh, for everybody who is watching and knows all of the awesome YouTubers out there, yesterday I was live with Stephanie of Stephanie Stitches. We did some social light sewing. Uh, she finished, I think she finished the last of her blocks, and I did three more blocks, which is now leaving six remaining. Uh, this was the first block that I had finished on her live, or no, it's not the first one I finished, but it's one of them that I finished. Uh, order doesn't necessarily matter. Uh, this one I finished. Uh, I'm halfway debating if I want to rip this bottom seam because this one should be over here and backwards. I'll figure out what I decide I want to do. Uh, finish is better than perfect. And then I also finished this one. And everything looks perfect to me. So I am going to leave it. But technically, the two sides here are off by 90 degrees. Uh, the pattern has them written to be different, uh, mostly just because uh, if you look at it here, you have the angles going up like this, but then you rotate it, the angles are going the other direction. So that is why the pattern was written that way. I like it this way, so I'm leaving it. There is no reason for me to change that. So as I said, I have six blocks remaining. Uh, I'm going to be working on pushing my way through those. Uh, one other thing that I have done is I started cutting fabric for another project. I know I don't need to be doing that. We've started discussing that in my last video but these projects, uh, I want to get stuff done to make me feel like I am progressing because the graduation quilts, they are taking a few more minutes than I anticipated. When I was working on that first one, I had a whole week off, so I got to focus on it and I spent a little bit more time than I should have, uh, but I managed to get that one done. So I am hoping to get the graduation quilts a little bit more worked on but for cutting i have oopsie this cut uh to break it out a little bit i have some strips of this gorgeous green this is what drew me to the kit uh but the rest of everything seriously is gorgeous with it there is this, which is more of a floral print. And it's floral in the fact that they are flowers, but they're not flowers that are all up in your face when you think of a traditional floral print. Just floral print. So I love that. Uh, this is a border. It's got some gorgeous birds. And then the primary fabric is this, what most people consider a floral. It is a fairly good sized block. So that should go together pretty easily and hopefully pretty quickly. In addition to that, uh, I cut out a second quilt because they're the same pattern. If I can do the sewing and cutting together, it might go a little bit faster. So to start out, we have this gorgeous purple. This purple, I was drawn to it immediately. If you saw my Massachusetts fabric haul, uh, you will recall that. This is going to the background with it. It is a, another gorgeous batik. It's got some blues. And some of the fabrics have a little bit of a hint of purple. I have this gorgeous aqua. 
that is going with it. And the primary focus fabric is this gorgeous purple. I love this. So I have everything cut out for two quilts. So the only thing I'm concerned about is that green. The pattern says to cut six, six and a half inch uh, strips from it. I was only able to cut five. Uh, that was one of them that I had the quilt shop up in Massachusetts kit up for me. And there may have been a slight off measurement or they just didn't write down how much was required for the border that they had chosen because they took an existing three yard quilt pattern and slightly modified it. The base is the same, but they just modify the borders just to take a little bit more uh, fabric into account and to add a, add a fourth fabric. The three yard quilt book uses three, pack, three fabrics and these are doing with four fabrics. I think that I should be fine if my rough measurements and math, which I didn't use Excel, so we'll see how it works. But if everything is right in my head, I will just barely have enough fabric for the borders. If the math in my head is not right, then I do have a couple local quilt shops here. Uh, they're a hop and a skip away, and I can go in and find some gorgeous batiks fairly easily just to accent what this is. That means I probably have to get the field of the quilt done sooner than later if I'm going to have to go petite shopping, but it's a long weekend. We'll see what I can do. Finally, what I have been working on in here is triangles. Uh, they are still sitting over on the cutting mat behind me, but I have all of the accent triangles cut. That was a large number of triangles. I'm not sure how many it was. I'll have to go look at the pattern if anybody is interested. But all of the accents are done. That means what is left is the primary fabrics in there from the fabric line. Uh, I will figure out how many fabrics I have left and how many triangles I have left. But hopefully I will be able to have the triangles cut done soon. Uh, it, there is an end in sight now, so I will be happy when that end arrives and cutting for this quilt is done. I don't know why people like the strip tube method. This is just my opinion. Uh, I know that some people love the strip tube. In fact, Donna Jordan's latest video, she prefers the strip tube method to do her cutting of triangles over the traditional method. I'm also not a fan of the traditional method. As I've said before, I use triangulations. Those go by a lot faster for me than the strip tube method. So I've just got a couple more quilts that I got to get done with the strip tube method. But I have decided that the strip tube method is probably not for me if I'm doing more than a handful of triangles.
it's time to set some goals. My first goal is to start doing some of the sewing on the pieces that I finished cutting out this morning. Uh, these are gorgeous. They're also fairly big. So if I can just run them through the sewing machine, get the subcuts in there, I think building these blocks will go by very quickly. As I said, faster projects feel accomplished. This is going to help. Uh, goal two is going to be my socialites blocks. I have six blocks left, six. So I wanna get one or two done. If I could at least get one a week, that means I will have all of my blocks done in six weeks. If I can get a couple weeks of two, that gets me down to, I could have it done by the end of the month. Uh, then there's also the finishing with that, but that's a little bit lower on the list. As long as I have the big blocks done or the more complicated blocks done, they're all the same size, they're all nine inches, that will help. And then my third goal is going to be more triangles. I have 19 strip sets left and they are half of width of fabric. So I get eight triangles per uh, strip set. Strip tube, that's the word. So 19 times eight is 152 triangles left to cut. That's a big dent in the 330 30 something, I think it was that I had to start with. So I'm over halfway there, getting it in my head that I'm getting down to the finish line of cutting these triangles means I can do more sewing with it and hopefully we'll get it done faster. My goal is to get maybe a couple strip, strip tubes cut and then bring them over here to my machine and sew them up into the pairs that need to happen for the block and that will help me feel more accomplished because then I'm also working on the blocks. So we will see how far I get into the triangles. Uh, it's a long weekend so I am off tomorrow and Tuesday. There will be a lot of time spent here in the sewing room. Oh and I have a new mic. Uh, I purchased it and it came recently. I just haven't had a chance to get it set up with my setup here. So that is part of the things that I want to work with over the next couple of days. So next weekend when I'm recording my weekly vlog, hopefully I sound a little bit better. Uh, we will see how much of an improvement that is. The Final option that I had with mics was the earbud that I was using when I was on live with Stephanie. That was an adventure getting set up because uh, the earbuds, they're pixel buds. They didn't like to work with Windows. I was trying all the test meetings and stuff, and sometimes it said it would work, sometimes it said it wouldn't. I was getting the up and downs. Either way, I want to get better microphone for this recording and stuff. So I think right now it's gonna be either the new mic that I just purchased, or I'm going to have to force my Pixel Buds to really like the software here. So with the long weekend, hopefully I will be able to get some of my goals done. Uh, and if not, you know, if the power goes out, then the power goes out. So we will see. I mean, there's thunder rolling right now, so we will see if we have, you know, a nice little storm, roll it out, and then when nothing else is happening, let the power go out. So that's about it for today. Thank you for watching. Please consider liking the video below and subscribing to my channel. If you ring the bell, you will get notified anytime that I publish a video. And spoiler alert, I'm trying to work on figuring out how to get live working. So uh, if you have the notifications turned on, you will get notified if I go live. Uh, it's also the easiest way to tell the algorithm that folks like you enjoy my content and it will spread it out to other awesome folks like you. I hope you have a great rest of your day and an awesome week.
until next time, stay happy and keep stitching.